How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, we're going to be creating this animation. I didn't really know what to call it. And then I got a bunch of commenters on Instagram saying it looked like I was bending reality. So that's what we're going to call it. But uh, before we get into the tutorial, let me shout out today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in your creativity. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life and all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions. Skillshare has a massive library of creative courses, things like 3D design, character animation, lighting, things like that. There's a massive library of Blender courses just for you that will help you with your career. One of my favorite classes on the site is a class by Remington Markham. You, many of you may know him as Southern Shoddy. He created this incredible class where you can learn how to make a character, texture it, light it, all this really fun stuff. It's a very high quality course and you can learn so much from it. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. You can stay focused and follows you wherever creativity takes you. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. At a time with so many important conversations are happening in our world, your voice is more essential than ever. Explore classes to unlock your creativity for social good. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description, you will get two months of a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Now let's get into today's tutorial. All right, guys, so here is the final result of the animation we are about to create. It's actually super, super simple, so let's get straight into doing that. I'm gonna go file here, new in general, and we're gonna just not save it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and get a cube. And you might think, why aren't we using a cylinder or a circle, which is what it looks like. We actually are gonna kind of create a hack, a hacky circle, basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit tab, go to the face select here, click this face, hold shift, click that face, hit X and click faces. Now we're gonna go and make the weird, um, the weird cylinder. So I'm gonna go in here and get the bevel, bevel, and then just bevel it all the way, and then get those segments in to make it. Shade smooth, don't worry about these guys, they're not gonna show up in the render. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scale this out. Now, and I'm going to apply scale. The reason I did this is whenever we go to actually apply textures, it's a bit harder to make textures work on cylinders than it is on a square. So that's why we actually um, did this. So let's go on over to shading and start making the magic happen. So I'm gonna click new, and I'm going to delete the principle here. I'm gonna get in a mix shader and I'm going to plug this into the surface and then I'm actually going to go just to the black non-lit version and then we're going to go to the emission here and then we're going to duplicate it we're going to give this a strength of zero and just to visually see it we're going to bring this down to black just to know this is the one not emitting any light uh, we'll plug that into the shader plug this into the shader quick note forgot to say this make sure you are in the EV render engine and bloom is turned on very important I'm going to make this the nice little light blue and then I'm gonna bring the shader up here. We're gonna start separating these guys here. So I'm gonna get a color ramp. And what this is gonna do is allow us to crunch what's gonna be going on behind this. We're gonna get in a noise, noise texture. If you have the node wrangler add-on and enabled, it comes with a uh, blender by default. We're gonna hit control T, it gives us a mapping node and a texture coordinate. And we are going to use the object coordinate. And let's plug this factor into the color ramp. So now we have this. Now here's the beauty of it. It's mapped perfectly in a circular manner, exactly the way we want. If we use the cylinder, it'd be a little bit more difficult. So that's the reason I did that. So let's go ahead and start crunching in this color ramp, actually crunching in the white portion and bring up the detail. I'm gonna get the scale and bring it in like this, just like so. Let's bring that strength up, maybe bring the scale of the noise, something like this, bring this in some more. And whenever we rotate it, I can find it it's going to be on the X rotation of this mapping node or you can just straight up rotate the actual object doesn't matter I like to do things within nodes now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the tilde key which is right above the tab key for me and I'm gonna click front shift a add my camera the reason why I did the tilde key thing is whenever you added the camera it's already it's already going to be uh, facing sorry I can't talk today it's already gonna be facing the way you want it to face so I'm going to make it go right here but it's not looking like what we want. Click on the camera, click on the little green camera down here and bring that focal length until we get something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch out this guy here and then control A, apply the scale. Now we're getting that thing that I did 
Um, so we're gonna go back here and get that focal length really crazy wide. Basically, this is a 6.7 millimeter lens for those of you who know anything about photography. Uh, and then we're gonna bring that scale up here. I mean, the strength up on the emission. And then let's go ahead and play around with some more stuff here. Maybe crunch it in some more. And then of course, get that X rotation. And this is how we made that crazy animation. Very quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring up my timeline, get in the uh, timeline here. I'm gonna give it 120 frames. Actually, I'm gonna give it 80 frames. I'm not really sure how fast this wants to be. I'm gonna click the background to start at frame zero. Very important so you don't get a duplicate frame. And then I'm gonna right click on the X rotation here, insert keyframe. And then I'm gonna to go to the end, 360 degrees, just like that, insert keyframe. And now we have that super cool, awesome animation that this, you know, bending reality looks wild. Um, looks wild and you can use it as a background motion graphic, stage visuals, anything you want. It looks crazy. You can also use any texture you want. I just think this one looks the coolest. So there you go. That's how you do that. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.